This is my latest motor. It's got uh, three rotors of eight north-south magnets and four stator plates of eight coils. I'm going to take it apart here and show you it. Okay, there's a bearing here, bearing holder, eight air coils, 18 gauge wire. It's about 112 feet of 18 gauge wire in each coil. This is the top stator plate. And here's the rotor. First rotor of eight magnets. Goes north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south. It's a steel one and one eighth inch thick shaft. Here's the bottom scatter plate with bearing in it. Another again, eight coils. Take this apart. There's that top rotor. There's a keyway for the keyway shaft. So I got this apart. This is made of uh, Philippine mahogany. A lot of epoxy and surfacing. Here's the one of the middle stator plates. Again, eight coils. And here's the last one. Here's another rotor. Same thing. Another middle stator plate. It's flush on one side. They stick out a little bit on the other side so I can get the wiring out on this side. And here is the bottom rotor which is fairly rigid. Here's a steel keyway. These are carbon fiber rods coming up just to make it a little stronger. And uh, okay, so that's it taken apart. The design of this is I have eight coils in the rotor. Here's the size of magnets that are in the rotor. There's eight of them. See how the edge of the magnet lines up to the middle of that coil? The edge of it lines up to the middle of this coil. And I wire these coils in series. This one will, if it's going this direction, the rotor, this will push it. This one's wired to push it. This one's wired to pull it. So you actually get two coils at once pushing and pulling on the magnet at the same time. So that's the firing position. And it moves over here and it goes around. The, uh, when you have north-south, so if this is facing north this way, when you have south over here, now you also get the same uh, direction of push-pull going on. So that's why it's good to have a north-south rotor is uh, you can do this coil overlap thing and get a lot more power. Also, if you were just to have a single coil against a magnet, it'll tend to like push it outward or pull it to the coil. But when you do it like this, it makes the magnet want to go in a lateral direction with a lot of force. So this is a really good way to uh, make a powerful motor. So that's the uh, design of it. I put it back together to see how fast I can do it. Here's the bottom, bottom one. That goes there. Uh, next one goes here. And you put on the middle rotor. And then you put on the next stator plate. 
Notice all the wires are coming out the same side. I drew these silver lines here because it's important to have this lined up. So the outside line are the ones I look at. Okay, let's put on the uh, last rotor, the third top one. That's on. And finally, the last stator plate. There we go. Now, going down, I have these half-inch stainless steel bolts, and they come down every four corners. Also, I didn't show it, but uh, there's a couple steel nuts that go all the way down here, and these butt up against the bearing, so there's no four and a half play to it. I'm going to put those on right now. Okay, here's the uh, two nuts. Tighten them together. File this down a little bit curved so it butts up against the bearing nicely. Okay, now I got the uh, four long bolts and nuts holding it all together here, half inch stainless steel. And then I put these in to make sure it's really lined up exactly how it should be. You know, I'll tighten them really tight, these nuts. And uh, if it's just a little bit off, like a two millimeters or even a millimeter one way or the other, it'll skew the uh, uh, axle, and now the rotors will be slanted. So it's got to be super, super straight when it goes together. Other, And then so you want a really tight air gap. I have about three millimeters air gap. Uh, uh, between the uh, coils and the rotor magnets. So, uh, also I have a Kevlar carbon fiber uh, uh, rim around each of these.